Do you have a plan to increase security in places like that? The district has up-to-date and well-tested emergency response plans. This program was produced by Lenape District Television. Hello and welcome to Lenape High School as we get set for this boys lacrosse matchup between the Vikings of Eastern and the Indians of Lenape. I'm Samuel Goldberg alongside Sam Myra and Sam, what do you think of today's matchup? Well, I think the big boys are coming out to play. It's a big Olympic Conference matchup. 2-0 Eastern faces first time out for the season, Lenape. But Lenape coming off a strong last year, so they're looking to rebuild and regain and go again. Thank you, Sam. We'll be back with Boys Lacrosse right after this. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah Heart and Lung Center, where experience matters. 800-555-1990, www.deborah.org. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market, all the best, all right here. 215-336-3003, or on the web at www.pwpm.net. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888-313-IDEA or comegnolaw.com. Wilmore School of Gymnastics and Cheer, where every child is special. Located on Briggs Road in Mount Laurel, 856-234-5292. Medford Village Car Care, serving the area's car care needs for 30 years. Located at 11 North Main Street in Medford, 609-654-4023. And on the web at mvcc-nj.com. And by Heads Up, Eyes Forward. Please never drive distracted. www.lrhsd.org slash heads up. For information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. And welcome back to Lenape High School on this windy afternoon. I'm Sam Goldberg alongside with Sam Myra and as you said in the pregame, this should be an uh, interesting matchup and a good Olympic Conference matchup. Oh, for sure. These are uh, two large, large schools, two power schools in the Olympic Conference, all across the boards in all sports, and uh, lacrosse is certainly no different. Lenape, no stranger to success. They've had a lot. And Eastern's a young building team. Indeed. And it's now time for the AXA Equitable Keys to the Game, providing millions of customers with life insurance, annuities, and other needs-based products since 1859. AXA Equitable. Be life confident. 732-452-7275. For Eastern, they have to win their face-offs. Face-offs is such a big part of the lacrosse game. Lacrosse is a, is a possession-oriented game, and it starts with the face-off. For Lenape, finish offensive opportunities. Well, what team doesn't want to finish opportunities? You certainly want to create a lot, but you certainly want to finish a high percentage. And finally, for both teams, discipline. Well, both coaches have a, a lot of experience here, and you're going to see that they're going to know when to pick up tempo and when to pull it back. 
Those are the keys of the game. Brought to you by AXA Equitable. And it's time now for the AXA Equitable Side Line Report, providing millions of customers with life insurance, annuities, and other needs based products since 1859. AXA Equitable, Be Life Confident, 732 452 7275. And now let's send it over to Alec Chilkatowski with the report. Hey guys, so I talked to both coaches before the game. Eastern already started their season. They have a 2 0 record. Meanwhile, Lampy's opening their season today. But Eastern knows not to underestimate a powerful and really good Lampy program. But Lampy knows it's going to be a struggle for the first few minutes as they get their feet wet. They haven't played in a few weeks, scrimmages, or games because of their senior trip. Besides winning, Eastern's really focusing on staying healthy this year. They've been plagued with injuries, so that's a big focus for them. Meanwhile, Lenape has a very young, talented defense, but they're young. Expect them to grow and see a lot of emphasis put on their offense this year. Let's see. It should be a good game, guys. Back to you. All right. All right. Thank you, Alec. That was... So I guess the seniors must be... Uh well rested after their senior trip and we'll be back with the action right after a brief message. Connect with the Lenape Regional High School District highlights page on Facebook to see outstanding achievements of our students and staff. Just type LRHSD highlights, hit like, and you'll get the latest updates on achievements in academics, extracurricular activities, community service, and athletics from all four of the Lenape District's high schools. From success in the classroom, to volunteering in the community, to milestones on the court. There's a lot to like with the Lenape Regional High School District Highlights page. Yeah. And welcome back and welcome back to Lenape High School as we are about to get ready here for this matchup. Fa the draw is about to happen for Lenape's season opener against the Eastern Vikings. And the face-off being so, so important. Lenape led by Zach Cole. So here come the Lenape offense. They do control possession to start the game. And here's Lenape coming in with no scrimmages to date. Yeah, they just came off the season. They just came off their senior trip and ball will be placed behind the net. It'll go out to the near side. Come back out to the midfield. Therese, Reese looks to pass inside. Ball will go behind the net to Ingersoll. Ingersoll will get it out to La Hoy. La Hoy. To right. Okay. And a good first possession for Lenape as they continue. They're getting touches, a lot of different players getting touches on the ball, which is good. Getting them back acclimated to the game pace. So Lenape will lose the ball here, but it's recovered by Reese. Reese looks the pass to right, right back to Reese. Reese moving in, shoots and we'll go wide. Lenape Picked up again and possession. another shot there by Mercado and another great save by the goalie. Now here comes Eastern. Ball will go out to midfield now. Hunter and Hunter will continue to hold on to the ball. Little first game uh, jitters, Lenape. A little slow on the sub there on the fly. Hall to Cooper to Coops though. Coops though. We'll get it back out to Hall. Hall will charge back in. Hall. Still again, we'll get it back to Coops though. Coops though to the corner. To Fisher. Fisher. Back to Coopstow. Coopstow will get it to the top of the point. 
to Barty, and Barty will move in. He's looking for a pass. Great defense here by the Lenape Indians, as you said. They have a great young defense. Yeah, it's nice to see. Yep, their first time out on the defense. A lot of youngsters out there holding pretty steady. There's a shot on goal and a great save there. Great save there by Penzabee. Eastern will retain possession, though. Coming in around behind to the far side. It's Fisher with the ball. Go to the top of the key. For Baldy, and then tackled by Lenape defense, and Lenape will look to take possession here. That's a great job by Zach Cole, St. Joe's University commit on the defensive end. Montgomery with the ball, look to pass. Still holding on to it. Montgomery behind the net. We get to the near side. Also on the near side to Reese. Reese will move up with it. To the far side and Moe will be mishandled a little bit. But Ingersoll will retain. Ingersoll to behind the net. All still behind the net. There's a shot on goal. Another oh, shot on goal. Good pass and just a near miss. Just missed the top of the net. And now here comes Eastern. That's Hall carrying with the ball. We'll get to the corner. Let it be doing a good Fish. job on the defensive end. Stop the counterattack. Ball go to the top of the key. Or to midfield. Coopsto, Coopsto moves in. Passes behind the net to Smith. Smith still holding onto it. Rips a shot and it goes wide of the net. The Vikings retain possession. There's Fisher with the ball. Fisher still looking to pass. <laughs> Go to midfield to Shackett. Shackett. Shackett moves with in, a great shoot. move. Shoots and I think goalie might have gotten a piece of that. Pensby. I think he did. Makes the save. Another shot on goal and another great save by Pensby and the ball go out of bounds. Vikings will retain possession. You know, Pensby just a sophomore and he's getting tested right off the bat and he's been up to it in this first quarter of action. So Fleischer to pass it in. Fleischer will hold on to it. Get out to Bar Barty, Barty. Move in. There's a shot on goal. And it goes out of bounds, so it'll be Lenape ball. Yeah, Lenape defender doing a great job forcing Barty to his left side and his shot goes way wide. So here's Reese moving up in midfield. Reese still moving up. He's just blowing by Eastern defenders. He's being heckled by two of them right now, and he'll finally get the ball out. Reese, has, joy. Reese has great speed and good balance to go along with it. Whistle blows and a violation. Let's call and it'll be Eastern ball. Now here comes Eastern now on the attack. I'll get to the side. To Thasani. Thasani to the top of the to midfield. Schultz, Schultz, number 27. 27 still holding on to the ball. Soren will get the ball now in midfield. Here comes Soren char charging in. Soren looks. Some great defense by the Lenape Indians. Yeah, Lenape staying pretty well organized in the back. 
adjusting to the movement of the ball and stopping penetration. So well the goal to number 27. 27 will pass it across the field. And Eastern will score. Yeah, and that time it looked like Lenape just didn't adjust the bottom of the defense quick enough. So Eastern, Eastern is previously 2-0 coming into this game. So they've already had two matches. Lenape still their first match, getting, as you said, getting their feet wet here. That was a good goal. Yeah, a, a good goal. Uh, they moved the ball pretty well. Again, Lenape uh, needs to adjust a little quicker. And it goes back to the turnover by Lenape in the other end, which really uh, you know, started the whole attack for Eastern. I was listening to a Lenape coach over here. He was telling one person that's your fault for the turnover. And that turnover ultimately led to an Eastern one to nothing lead. Yeah, well, there's a miscommunication. It that time, Cole loses the face off. There comes Easter now in the offensive zone. Oh, and they score right away. They just blew right by the Lenape defense. Just moved in and scored. He got the ball off the face off. And Brandon Hall scores. And let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab, physical therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. Yeah, Brandon Hall kind of took it upon himself. Number five just took a stumble and then Hall just put it right between the legs of Penzaby. As you mentioned, Penzaby only a sophomore. Yep, he's still gaining experience. Well, he's gaining experience as we speak. Just a 10th grader. 419 left to go. And that's a real good win by Zach Cole. But if he needs to respond here. There's a shot. By Cole and it goes wide. I'm sorry, that was Tim Montgomery who ripped that shot and wide. That looks like Eastern has possession. Ball's behind the net now for McCollum. McCollum will pass it up to the bold and the bold. We'll look for a pass, but then. The whistle blows. That's a good, oh, it's uh, called on Eastern. Yep, so it's a good opportunity for Lenape. So we Here approach the three and a half minute mark. Here's Reese now carrying the ball. He's through midfield. Still moving in and we'll get it to Montgomery. Montgomery, we go to the far side, passes over the head of his target. And Eastern, will, and Eastern will take possession. So here's Shackett with the ball. Shackett, we get to the far side. And he'll get it back. Eastern trying to set up a play here, score third goal. 2.40 left to go here in the first. Shaq will pass to the near corner. Ball's loose. That's a good recovery by the Lenape defense. And now here come the Lenape Indians. Here's Reese with the ball being heckled by three people, and he'll cough the ball up near midfield and turn it over. Yeah, Reese needs a little bit of help there. Because he's drawing the defenders. You know, he drew two, three defenders, and uh, he needs some assistance. And a timeout will be taken by Lenape. 2.25. 2.25. So Eastern coming out here fast and furious. So they scored two goals in a matter of 15 seconds. Yeah, that second one, uh, kind of unforgivable. I think they were still feeling the sting of the first goal and uh, just, just got caught not prepared. 
Think I'll get sunburned today? The sun is surely beating down on us. Well, it's coming, it's going, it's coming and going. But As when you it comes see, out, it is bright. See the Lenape huddle there. Bill Supton is the head coach. This is his 13th year as the head coach. Has a record of 158 and 89. Well, Bill's a district guy through and through. Shawnee grad, went on to college and came back true to the district to take a position at Lenape High School. And there you see the Eastern huddle. Steve Pickott, the head coach, 15th year as, his as the head coach for the Vikings. He's 159 and five. 105. 159 and 105. Hey, what did I say? Five. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a good head coach right there. That would right be there. pretty darn impressive, huh? That would be a program. That would have uh, won a few state championships. But still very impressive. 159 wins to 105 losses. And nothing comes easy in the Olympic Conference. No, it doesn't. So here are the Vikings now. The ball will be behind the net. He'll go to the midfield to Bartley. And then he'll pass it to Shackett. Shackett moves in. Looks, passes, and another goal for Eastern. Beautiful pass to set up their third goal of the game. Already. I believe that was Ben Smith on the goal. Looks to be, he received a beautiful pass from Shackett and then Smith just buried it. Yeah, he Three nothing Eastern. So Hall will win the face off. Yeah, Hall doing a great job. Two minutes left to go here, and Eastern scores another goal. Looks to be Stephen McLean. And Lenape will take a timeout as they are down 4 0 here in the first. And let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. That was just a rifle. Smith, or Hall made a great pass to Smith, and Smith rifled it home. Yeah, Smith put it in a tough, tough position for the Lenape goalie, Rob Penza, being the save. Now let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. Now here is the other goal that was scored. Oh, that was the Lenape defender kind of hit the stick of Smith and the ball just kind of came out of his stick and right into the goal. Yeah, that was a quick release by Smith. So a minute 54 to go here in the first. Eastern up 4 nothing. Well, I know Billy Suffin, Coach Suffin did not want to call that timeout late in the quarter, but uh, he, he needed to. Let's see how the young Indians respond. You know, both teams, a little bit of youth, a little bit of experience. They both returned six starters. They both graduated six starters. So one minute, 54 seconds to go here. But Lenape needs a momentum goal here. Good face-off win there. Starts with Cole. And here comes Cole and Hill lose the ball. 
And now here comes Eastern. That's Santos with the ball. Yeah, Julian Santos doing a good job, but just steps out of bounds. Oh, though he had a little help from his friend in white to get out of bounds, so they're going to maintain possession. Look to be a push on Matt Ingersoll. Yeah, he's going to spend some time out, so Lenape uh, will be a man down for the remainder of the quarter or if a goal is scored, he'll be released. Well, the ball is behind the net now for Eastern as they're looking to score a fifth goal here in the first. All the top to Barlitty, Barlitty to Hall. Hall will pass to Shackett, Shackett. Try to receive the pass back, but Hall will recover it. So the man up is done. One minute! Yellow, 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 yellow! And our clocks are off. Here's Barletti, Barletti. And a look. The pass falls behind the net, and now Lenape will. A, that was a really good defensive stand. Way to not give. Eastern a fifth goal. Oh, I don't like that pass though. Right in the middle in a dangerous area. And here comes Eastern. And now Eastern on the fast break. And they score a fifth goal off a careless pass by the Indians. And now it's five to nothing. Yeah, that's unfortunate because Lenape had a little bit of momentum going, holding off the, uh, the power play. And uh, just a, an unfortunate turnover in a real, real dangerous area. Goal was scored by Stephen McLean. So five nothing now for the Eastern Vikings. And we look to be under 30 seconds, about 26. So it looks like Colin Hall for the face off again. Let's see if Lenape can strike one. Oh, and there's Cole with a shot, but a great save. By McCollum, and now here comes Eastern. There's three seconds to go. It's a matter of ticks. We have time expired. Time expired, nobody knows. And there's halftime. That'd be the first quarter end. First quarter, that's the end of the first quarter. The Vikings are coming out. I mean, they are two and, they came into this game two and oh, they have a lot of momentum. Again, this is, and let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. Here's the last goal by the Vikings. It was on a careless pass from the Olympia Indians, and then it turned into a fast break for the Eastern Vikings. And as you see there, that's how their fifth goal. And at the end of the first quarter, the Eastern Vikings lead five to nothing. And hey, you never know. It's just the end of the first quarter. Well, goals come in bunches in this game, so uh, let's hope the next bunch comes from Lenape get themselves right back in this game. You know, and the fortunate thing and the unfortunate thing, the goals scored, you know, many of them, three of them were preventable. They were unforced error on, errors on Lenape's part. Um, and, and a couple, you know, give it to Eastern, they had some good goals, but uh, it certainly doesn't have to be five nothing at this point. And I'm sure Coach Suffin is talking about that to both sides of his Team, offense, and defense. So you see the Eastern huddle there. They start. They they came out firing. They're up five nothing. 
here going into the second quarter. See the Lenape Indians out there. They're down five nothing. So we'll see if they can. So we can see if they see if they can finish their finish their offensive chances. Zach Cole had a nice shot, but it was just right towards the goalie of Colin McCollum. <laughs> So, so some offensive chances here for the Indians, but they can't seem to finish them. And as we said, the keys to the game, Lenape have to finish their offensive opportunities, and they just haven't been able to break the Eastern defense. They really haven't. They haven't had a lot of quality opportunities. And, uh, you know, part of it is just finding their rhythm, you know, getting their timing down and... Uh, it's going to come. You hope that quarter served as a little teacher for them, and maybe they can turn around right now and have a good second quarter. And right now, that's all you can do. You can't score five at once. Just try to get on the scoreboard, keep them off the scoreboard. So Hall will win the faceoff now for Eastern. And Eastern has been certainly winning their faceoffs. That's kind of why they have a 5 to nothing lead. I mean, a couple of their goals came off of faceoffs. Yeah, they've certainly won their share, and, and Zach Cole for Lenape is, is, is as good as any in South Jersey, but uh, he's got his hands full as well. So here's number 27. He's looking to pass. You get to Fleischer. Fleischer behind the net to Smith. Smith will look for another pass. Goes into the middle. There's a shot and a great save. That's a nice save by the sophomore, Rob Pensabine. Pensabine will come out of the net and then he'll return. That's and a good hold by Lenape, a real good hold. Here's the Sani out in, in the field. He'll get the ball up and... Some, gonna have somebody a takes a tumble. We're going to have a penalty coming up. Penalty will be on Eastern. And Lenape gets a freebie at the goal, and the penalty still waits. There's a shot on goal, and it goes wide. Tim Montgomery tried to score. So it's a one-minute tripping penalty on Eastern. That penalty was on Nick Siampoli. There is Lenape now on man advantage after a penalty committed by Eastern. There's Lenape now. They're still in the offensive zone. They're trying to score. They're down 5 nothing on this man advantage. There's a battle for the ball. Yeah, Lenape desperately needs to hold possession here. Ball's to the far side now. 20 seconds left to go on the man advantage. And Lenape will lose the ball for a brief moment. And it's picked up by McCollum. Yeah, and that's going to do it. As Lenape fails to score on the uh, man up, but they look to win the ball back. And, and they, they do. do. What a great play. Will Mercado coming in. Finishing off the defensive win. There's a shot by Lenape, and they score. That was a rifled shot by Bryce Reese. Again, just a sophomore. And Reese has certainly uh, struck an important one for Lenape as they're on the board. There's a good momentum goal, as you said, for 
the Indians. Well, I like it. I like the maturity. They did not score on the man up. They defended, defended, didn't let Eastern out of their own defensive half. And there they go and score. Again, you could score in bunches here, so let's hope uh, we get another one. So Zach Cole and Brennan Hall to take the face off again. That's a great matchup right there, and it's Zach Cole coming away. And now here's Cole on the break. Ball go behind the net, and the Indians will turn it over. Now here comes Eastern. Connor Ryan with the ball. Still holds on to it. And he wisely gets out of pressure. He'll pass it to Brett Fleischer. Fleischer. We'll pass the Hall. Hall. To Garber. Garber. To Barlardi. Barlardi. Looks for somebody to pass to. And out to midfield to Brandon Hall. Brandon Hall. He's moving in. Pass That's to the a inside. Good pass. Oh, there was a attempted shot. Yeah, he tried to lob one top shelf, but uh Shot would have gone over the net. Yeah, Pennsylvania is a big body in there. You're not going to get anything over him, that's for sure. Here comes Lenape. Ball goes to the near corner. It's Montgomery. Montgomery. Hold the ball. We'll get it behind the net. Baker, Baker. Pass to the far side. He'll go to the, go to the top to LaJoy. LaJoy. Lenape moving the ball around. They keep circling the ball, trying to get the Eastern defend. There's a little bit tired. Yeah, they're trying to move the defense around, maybe get an opening. Well, the Eastern defense not breaking. And now here comes Lenape. There's a shot on goal, but it goes wide right. Will Mercado got the shot off, but the ball just went far right. Now here's Bryce Reese. He already has one goal in the game. Looking for his second. Montgomery moves in. Montgomery will pass it behind the net. Ball still behind the net. Go back out to Reese. Reese to LaJoy. LaJoy to Mercado. Mercado. Cross looking for... Baker, and that ball will go out of bounds, so it will be uh, Eastern ball. Eastern's going to take over. Lenape just having a hard time attacking that middle. <clears throat> so here comes Eastern now. Barlardi with the ball. Barlardi will pass by in the net. That was back out to Barlardi, and then Barlardi will pass to Hall. Hall to Barlardi, Barlardi. Eastern very content, moving the ball around. Barlardi moving in, pass it out to Hall. Hall back to Barlardi. Barlardi gets a pick from his teammate, spins, and we'll get it back out to his brother, Bar Shane. Hunter Barlardi, Hunter Barlardi inside, and and he'll score. Hunter Barlardi scores, and it's six to one, Eastern. Yeah, and Eastern did a good job moving the ball side to side, a little east-west, and uh, then they were able to penetrate up the middle, and uh, Barlotti had a pretty good look at the goal there and goes lower corner. So Hunter's brother Shane will take the face off now in sack Cole. Brandon Hall did a good job taking fa face offs. That's quite a luxury to have a couple solid guys take your face offs. And it's Zach Cole. 
Zach Cole wins the faceoff. He's moving in. And Tim Montgomery maintains possession of the ball. Lenape and Eastern switching out players, trying to get fresh legs onto the field. Montgomery will still hold on to the ball. Montgomery looks the pass. Wait, that's a Baker. Baker trying to move in, but the Eastern defense is holding up. And whistle blows. And Lenape will take a timeout. Well, we're under five minutes. Lenape does get on the board, but I know Coach Sutphin and the Lenape Indians want to cut this lead before the half. And let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab physical therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. Oh, that was a beautiful shot by Barrel Artie. Hit the ground and that might have been tipped by Ben Smith. I'm not sure, but. Yeah, I think Ben might have gotten a piece of it. Barrel Artie showing that senior leadership. See the Lenape huddle there. They're down 6-1. They're coming off of their senior trip. They're trying to get used to each other. It's their season opener. And they're, they have to show some discipline here. They, have, they haven't been really showing good discipline. They've been making careless passes, turning the ball over, and that's ultimately led to Eastern's 6-1 lead here. Yeah, they're making some, uh, some early season mistakes that I know um, they won't be making, you know, as this team starts to mature. Coach Brian Einstein, Einstein for uh, for Lenape working the offense, and he's going to get that right. Assistant coach Dan Fowler, the defensive coordinator, they're going to get it right. These guys are experienced, led by Coach Sutphin, and uh, just hope it happens a little gradually today and, and goes forward from here. But the game is early and uh, they're certainly gonna have their opportunities. So we're gonna resume play here after the timeout. Whistle blows and Bryce Reese will get the ball. He'll pass it. Colin Wright, right to LaJoy, LaJoy. To Montgomery, Montgomery moves in behind the net. Still in front. We get a shot off, and great defense there by the Eastern Vikings. Yeah, Eastern does a nice job holding them there. So here come the Vikings now, up six-one. That's a great outlet pass. Fleischer will maintain possession of the ball. Pass will go to Brendan Hall. Hall. It's a good battle here. A really, that was a really good battle there yeah, for the ball. Hats off to Eastern for coming away from it with it. And Jeremy Cuptow, Cupstow just came into the game, and I don't think he was ready for that pass by Hall, and he just kind of fumbled it. Smith with the ball behind the net, and we'll go to the near side. Smith has the ball back. Ball will go out to Hall. Call to Cupsto, Cupsto. Behind the net. To McLean, McLean maintains to the ball. And it'll go to Cupsto, Cupsto. 
to Garber. Garber, Garber moves in, great shoots, move. and great save by Rob Pensaby. So now here's Bryce Reese moving up with the ball. Reese moves in, there was a pass, into the middle, and Zach Cole with the shot. But McCullough makes the save. That was a good counterattack by Lenape, failing to capitalize, but showing signs. And it's good that they're showing signs of life here. They maintain possession. So here's Reese with the ball, has the only Lenape goal. Ball's behind the net. Ingersoll has the ball. Ingersoll looks the pass. Great defense by the Vikings, and it'll go out to Reese. Reese mishandles the pass, but it'll get it back. So here's Reese. Reese trying to move in. Drawing pressure. Great defense there. LaJoy. Gets her right. Right back to LaJoy, and then back to Reese. Reese moves in. He'll rip a shot, and it goes over the net. Yeah, when Reese has the ball, you can count on he's going to have a few blue shirts right around him. So here's a shot by Will Mercado and a great save there by McCollum. And now here come the Vikings. And this is where Lenape needs to work hard to get behind the ball. Oh, and there was some great defense there by the Lenape Indians. They really, really did a good job. And they had to work hard to get back because that was a great quick outlet pass by Eastern. You certainly can't outrun the ball, but uh, they did a good job of getting back and getting organized. So here's Pensaby with the ball. He's got to be careful not to turn the ball over. That goal is wide open. Here's LaJoy now. Get out to Montgomery. Montgomery. To right, right. One minute. We approached one minute, just under one minute. Right to Faye, Faye. To Mercado. Mercado behind the net. To LaJoy. To LaJoy. We'll look to pass now. Brings the ball up to the top of midfield. That'll go to right. Right moves in. Still moving in behind the net. And LaJoy will get the ball back. Faye, Faye, moving in. Mercado has trouble with the pass and the ball will go out of bounds. Yeah, again, a little bit of an unforced turnover. Valiant effort to try to keep it in, but uh, it's a turnover. But here comes Lenape putting pressure on. It's a turnover. Here's Lenape with the shot and they and score. this time it's Lenape forcing the mistake in the Eastern defensive end to go right back on the attack. Matt Ingersoll comes up with a goal, and it's six to two. And let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab, physical therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. And Lenape loses it, unfortunately, but look at the quick, well, we don't see the quick pressure. We see the shot, and it's buried. So Hall and Cole will take the face off. Now we're under 20. It's very important for Lenape to win this face off, prevent a goal. Maybe even get another shot off themselves. First things first, win the face off. So here's the face off. So here comes Eastern, but Lenape will take possession. That's very good. And that is the end of the first half. As the Indians got a momentum goal. Yeah, kudos to Lenape uh, for fighting right to the bitter end and uh, getting a goal on it, winning that last face off. And, uh, See Going there. A little momentum. See there at the end of the first half, Eastern Vikings lead 6 to 2. 
See the score there, six to two, and we'll be back with the second half right after this. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah Heart and Lung Center, where experience matters. 800-555-1990, www.deborah.org. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market, all the best, all right here. 215-336-3003, or on the web at www.pwpm.net. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888-313-IDEA or comegnolaw.com. Wilmore School of Gymnastics and Cheer, where every child is special. Located on Briggs Road in Mount Laurel, 856-234-5292. Medford Village Car Care, serving the area's car care needs for 30 years. Located at 11 North Main Street in Medford, 609-654-4023. And on the web at mvcc-nj.com. And by Heads Up, Eyes Forward. Please never drive distracted. www.lrhsd.org slash heads up. For information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. Well, this is nice. So, what do you want to talk to me about, Mom? Oh, um, at school. Do they um, have any of your friends ever taken drugs, sweetie? I don't think so. Does anyone ever talk about drugs at school? Talking to your kids about drugs can be tough, so you'll need to be ready. For help, visit our website at drugfree.org. And welcome back to Lenape High School. See the score there is six to two. So we're starting to get ready. So we're starting to get ready here for the third quarter. And it's time now for the AXA Equitable Sideline Report, providing millions of customers with life insurance, annuities, and other needs-based products since 1859. AXA Equitable, be life confident, 732-452-7275. And now let's send it over to Alec Chukatowski with the report. So we sure came out firing with all pistons, and they don't look like they're letting up. For Lenape, it's, they're still need their feet wet getting into the second half. It's still a pretty early game. A lot could happen. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Alec. Well, it is early in the game yet. You know, we've got a whole half to play, and Eastern can certainly win, or uh, Lenape can certainly win this half and turn it around, or Eastern can pile it on and create some distance in the score. See the players warming up. Trying to get their bodies moving again after standing around for halftime. So it's really cloudy and at the start of the game, and the sun has really come out. When it comes out, it's ablaze, and it's reflecting off that uh, water from the rain, and it's, it's bright. You know, interesting half times for, for both teams. As you see, you know, Lenape, as you can imagine, uh, Coach Sutphin and, and his staff uh, ripping into his boys a little bit, challenging them to step up to the to the plate and maybe answer. And Eastern trying to convince his players that it's still a game. This is a good team you're playing. Don't rest on this 6-2 deficit. 
I'm sorry, 6-2 advantage. And we so will right see now, how both teams respond. So right now, momentum. It's kind of with Lenape after they scored late in the second quarter. Yeah. They look to fire on all cylinders here. I have to give it to Lenape at this point, but this next goal is going to be pivotal. You know, Lenape gets it. All of a sudden, it's 6-3. You're within sniffing distance, and uh, Eastern gets it in. Oh, my. Now you're five down. And it starts with the faceoff. Zach Cole and Brennan Hall have been doing the face-off all afternoon. And it's been a good face-off to watch. Ref blows the whistle and... Eastern comes away with the face-off. Well, there's a Aaron pass and it'll go out of bounds. Well, that's fortunate for Lenape. Unfortunate for the Vikings. Of now Eastern. Here, here come the Lenape Indians. Also in midfield. Lenape's having some problems with that throughout the game. Just that outlet pass. They're, they're kind of getting jammed against the sideline a bit. So now Eastern will take possession. And there's a flag and there's out. A flag, and that's going to cost Lenape. So now it's a free possession here for the Vikings. Well, Lenape has double duty here. They got to hold off the attack. So here's Ballardi behind the they net. They do. They have the penalty waiting. And here it comes. All right, let's buckle down for 30 seconds is the task for the Indians. Tim Montgomery called for the hold. So Eastern now have a chance to score their seventh goal and try and t put this game out of reach. So Hull will go to CCRO, CCRO. Behind the net to Smith. And Lenape really has to be in tune here, really locked in on the defensive end. Stay organized. Oh, we'll go to Shackett. Shackett inside. Great defense by Cole, and it's balls in the middle now. And the Indians will take control. Well, that's a, that's a win for Lenape as they hold off the penalty. Now they have to have a good attack. Smart decisions out of the back. There's a foul call and on Lenape, and it'll be Eastern ball. It's a long pass. And Fleischer comes up with it. Fleischer on the near sideline. Pass it to Garber. Garber to Shackett. Shackett to Bullet already. Ball already, moving in, been moving in, into the middle for Garber. Garber to Shackett, Shackett gets a screen, Shackett moves in, it's behind the net now for Smith. Smith holds on to it. Smith to the far sideline for Shackett, he mishandles the pass, but he gets it back. Again, Lenape locked in, doing a good job. They have to sustain this defense. Ball already. To Garber. Garber. Shaky pass. Pressure by Lenape. So here's Ball already trying to move in. Lenape defense holding up right now. Garber who's still holding on to the ball. We're going to McLean. McLean, still behind the net, looking for somebody to pass to. McLean spinning around, 
Looks into the middle. It goes to Hall. Hall deeks. But then great defense there by the Indians. That's a great stand by the Lenape Indians. Good, hard, long stand. And a, the Indians will take a timeout. Yeah, I'm really, really uh, impressed with that. They stayed zoned in. Uh, they didn't get lulled to sleep at all. And they clogged up the middle. Did not give Eastern any great lanes. So Lenape with a good stand. 8.32 left to go here in the third. And again, I just feel that ne this next goal is very important, whichever team it comes from. Both teams a little sluggish coming out. Eastern's putting on a little bit of pressure, but they haven't been getting those crisp, crisp passes that they they need to score an important goal. Yeah, not as much, but uh, you know, Lenape has a little bit to do with that as well, as they're uh, they're moving much better as a unit defensively, staying organized, staying a little more compact. You can hear the communication. They're they're, you know, I know it's only been a half, but they've grown from that first half. Another timeout. So here's Lenape now after the timeout. And this has been something Lenape needs to work on. Getting out of their, their end clean, and they do. And here's Bryce Reese now moving in. He has a lot of grass to work with. We'll get it off to the near sideline. And the ball will be place into LaJoy's stick. LaJoy, like a long pass behind the net to Mercado. Mercado to the near sideline. And here comes LaJoy moving in. LaJoy, behind the net. I got the Reese, Reese. The right. Oh, just missing. And now here comes Eastern. So here's Eastern now on the offensive end. Barlardi. We'll pass the Garber. Garber. Near sideline. Fleischer. Lenape trying, or Eastern trying to open up that Lenape defense. Moving wide, moving up the middle, moving to the back, trying to create a seam. So here comes Eastern now. There was a good shot off by Barilardi, but a good save there by Penzaby. Whistle blows. There's a stoppage in play. And Eastern will retain possession. Oh, there was a beautiful play there. I don't know how that didn't go in. Woo! Wow. Lenape dodging one there. That was almost a seventh goal for Eastern. Ah, it's a great play for Lenape. So nice here's Reese. Reese. So here's Reese moving up. Now he has a lot of grass to work with, still moving up. Eastern defenders are 
defending him really well. Ball will go behind the net to Montgomery. Montgomery still has the ball. We'll go to the top for right. Ball's behind the net now for Ingersoll. Ingersoll. Look to pass. Ingersoll will get a brilliant pass to Mercado. And the Indians will score. Six to three. Cutting that's, the deficit. That's a big one. That's a character, uh, a character six minutes there for Lenape because they had a hold, 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 hold on defense. And uh, I'll tell you, that whole attack was started by Reese with a great move right here on the near sideline. Uh, and then Lenape did a wonderful job and a great finish. That was Will Mercado on the finish. So Zach Cole and Brennan Hall will do it again. Great battle. It's Cole. Cole winning the face off. And now here come the Indians who just got a momentum goal. Cole spins. With Hall right on him. Cole behind the net. Still moves in. Look at the ball to Baker. Baker. Good poise by Lenape. To right. Also a little blow. And a timeout taken? No, or no. Was an offside call. An offside call. Eastern has the all in the offensive zone. Look okay, at this to Garber. Garber, number 27. Number 27 back to Garber. Garber to Barlardi. Barlardi back to Garber. Garber moves in. This is trouble. Still moving in. He That's shoots. That's a good a great save. save. Great save by Penzerby. Yeah, boy, he had a clear look at the goal and uh, didn't quite put it where he wanted to. I think if Pennsylvania would have missed that, I think the ball would have gone wide left. And that was a mishandled pass. But they got it, the long stick. And again, possession time for Lenape. Open up that defense, find your seam. Ingersoll to Reese. Reese back to Ingersoll. Ingersoll moving in. A little shake and a bake by Ingersoll. Still honing on. Defend it well by Lenif or by Eastern. Ingersoll finds his way. Hey. Oh! That was a great move by Ingersoll. And now the deficit is cut again. It's six to four. I'll tell you, that was a wonderful, wonderful individual effort by Ingersoll. Because he was shaking, 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 and he finally baked. And, and also, puts there it in the lower shelf. There was a penalty, but a. And let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. Look at this move by Ingersoll. He yeah, just he's getting held as well. Barrels right through, and he says hello. Surprising Eastern doesn't call a timeout. And there was also a penalty on the play, but that's waved off due to the goal by Ingersoll. Hey, how about this? Here we are, 6-4. Let's see if Cole can win yet another faceoff. Here's the faceoff, and Cole Why won not? another one. Why not, Mr. Cole? Here's Reese. Reese to Mercado. Mercado. Behind the net to Baker. Baker to Montgomery. Montgomery to Ingersoll. Ingersoll. We'll pass to LaJoy. LaJoy. We'll go to Mercado. Mercado behind the net. Pass and the pass will go 
to Montgomery. Montgomery out to LaJoy. LaJoy to Ingersoll. Ingersoll will move in. He shoots. And a good save there. Lenape retains, I believe. I could be wrong on that. Lenape does retain. Lenape retains. There's a pass inside the middle. and There's a battle for the ball now. Well done, Lenape. Here's Mercado with Mercado the ball. Mercado doing a great job. Mercado trying to look for a pass. Mercado to LaJoy. LaJoy to Ingersoll. Ingersoll moves in. Looks, shoots, and scores! And Lenape are within one. What a quarter here I believe for the Indians. Ingersoll has the fire going right now. Three straight goals for Lenape and Eastern still have yet to have an answer. And let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab physical therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. Ingersoll just moves in, does a little step and whips well, it right home. put them off balance, yeah, and he found that spot. And Eastern still does not call a timeout. So let's see if Lenape can win yet another face-off. Looks like Cole and Hall to take another face-off. And it is Lenape coming away. Lenape with another face-off win. Here's Reese. Reese to Montgomery. Montgomery to Baker. Baker. Lenape's in a position where they do not have to feel any sense of urgency. Eastern's been on the defense for the better of four minutes here. Balls to the near side with Montgomery. Montgomery. We'll come to the near side. There's a shot and they there score! And there's a tie game. Will Mercado shoots it home and there's four straight goals for Lenape. Welcome back, Lenape Indians. And finally, there's that timeout. Eastern will take a timeout. And then how about that? We're glad you had a good time in Disney, but we're glad to see you back on the field in the second half. Four straight goals for the Indians. LDTV Sports Productions are available online at youtube.com slash Lenape District TV and for purchase at www.lrhsd.org slash LDTV copies. Our next broadcast is a Varsity Boys Lacrosse matchup as the Shawnee Renegades will travel to the to Cherokee High School to take on the Cherokee Chiefs. Should be a good game. All right, so the senior takes the face-offs, the youngsters take over scoring goals for the Lenape Indians, and certainly they have a lot to be proud of, but there's a lot of game left here. And sometimes what happens, Sam, you climb that hill, you get right about to the top, and you lose your focus. So they guys gotta keep locked in here. Starts with the face-off, keep Eastern on defense. Good things will continue to happen. So Lenape still got to, they have tied up the game, and now let's see if they can take the lead here in the third quarter with a minute 44 left to go. And I'll tell you, that last face-off win, which I love, and Zach Cole's a wonderful player, but it was a team effort because he did enough to, to get the ball loose, and then his teammates came in and uh, finished the deal. So, Zach Cole and Brennan Hall take the face off. In a 6-6 game, the Lenape Indians have come out fast and furious in this third quarter. And they've scored four straight goals. Zach Cole has been a beast in the face-off circle, winning the Lenape's last five face-offs. Can he make it a sixth?
Oh, it's Eastern taking it. That was a great check there. Fantastic effort by the Lenape defense. And now here comes Cole. He's moving in. He just shakes Hall down. Oh, and that's a air, and that's a not so good pass by him. And the ball will go out of bounds, and it will be it's Lenape be possession. Lenape ball. Now, what I'd like here is a nice long Lenape attack. A solid 45 second attack right here. Keep the Vikings on their heels. See if you can take the lead with just over a minute left to go. And the ball will go out to right. Right to LaJoy. LaJoy moves in. Shoots. Oh, great a great save. save indeed. Colin McCollum comes up with a clutch save. Boy, the senior really, really did a good job saving the ball there. So Ingersoll has the ball, moves in behind the net. Montgomery maintains possession. Uh, another good defensive effort. And now here come the Vikings. Colin McCollum. Oh, oh what a, a great play by Lenape, thwarting the attack. Right, has the interception. Now here's this Reese. This could be it. In the middle, he shoots, and he Why scores. Why not, Mr. Reese? Bryce Reese scores, and that puts the Lenape Indians up 7-6 to six with 19 seconds to go in the third quarter. Five straight goals for the Indians. Let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay, Ivy Rehab physical therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. It all started with Wright and then Reese, and then Reese finished the play. Yeah, it was a great, great interception there and uh, give it to Reese, he buried it. Colin Wright. We're just under 30 seconds showing. Had a really sharp steal that set up the Bryce Reese goal. Lenape Indians have struck here with a five goal third quarter and they take the lead seven to six. And Cole will win another face off. And the Vikings will steal it. Now here come the Vikings. Can the Vikings tie the game up? Okay, Lenape needs to lock it in, pack up the middle. There's a flag on the play. Whistle blows. And a foul has been called with four seconds to go. So Zach Cole will pick up the foul. Yeah, that's unfortunate because Lenape was doing a real good job of staying disciplined on defense, but uh, just got a little overexcited by the clock there, I think. They knew it was ticking down. But hey, they're competing, they're battling. It's, it's a part of the game. It's a Man, if three seconds, and that'll take it. That'll take it into the fourth quarter now as the Indians strike. And now they have a one goal lead going into the fourth. They struggled in the first half and now they come out firing with five straight goals. And yeah. Eastern still hasn't having it, hasn't having an answer yet. I like what they did. They, as I said, it was only a half of a game but they grew up a lot in that first half. This is their first time in competition against an opposing school this year. No scrimmages, no prior games, and uh, they, they've grown each quarter. First quarter was tough, second quarter they got a little better, and third quarter, oh wow, great job. And here we go now, so now it's a little change uh, with the two coaches as you see the Eastern school with their experienced coach speaking to them and now it's a little reverse coach Bill Sutphin and his staff I'm sure saying hey let's not sit on this now it's a one goal lead we have to hold off a penalty and Eastern saying hey 
it, it's a one goal game. We got 12 hard minutes to play here. So it certainly feels like Lenape momentum right now, but first thing they need to do is hold off this power play. So here we go. Both teams have had their moments. And now, Lonapie just had their moment. They scored five straight goals in the third quarter. And now let's see if Eastern has a response to this. I don't think Eastern's too happy, or the coaches at least, that their defense gave up five straight goals here. And Lenape now has the lead. Yeah, and the, the goals were of different variety, but a lot of them were individual efforts. Just Lenape players, uh, I hate to use the expression, breaking the ankles of some Eastern defenders. But uh, Eastern's not going away, I'll tell you that much. So Eastern now is on a man advantage. Let's see I'll if go to Garber. Lenape can keep that concerted effort on defense. It's been a team effort. Ball will go to Shackett. And we're even up. We are even up. And this is where Lenape just needs to stay disciplined on the defense. They're going to get their opportunities. So here are the Vikings. All on the far side. All go behind the net to Smith. Lenape needs to keep communicating, keep moving with the ball. That's a good shot there by Smith, but yep. it just goes slightly wide right. Eastern's going to maintain possession. Again, Lenape doesn't have to press too much on defense at this point. They need to stay organized. They need to communicate. Barlari, the shot and a great save. How about the sophomore and goal for the Indians with a real good one? Penzaby went down a little early on the shot. It bounced and he brought his stick up nice and high to make the That's save. And there's a, oh, oh, and another again. great save by Penzaby. Are you kidding me? The reaction time on this kid and he makes a ginormous save. And here come the Vikings again. Bolinari a shot. And there and we another go. another save by Penzerby. Penzerby making three straight clutch saves here in the fourth. Another great stand by the Lenape Indians. So here's Bryce Reese moving up. Reese still moving in. And the Lenape Indians will take control in the offensive zone. And control is what they have right now. They are in the driver's seat. They can control the tempo of this game. And by no means are they going to slow it down. But they need to be choosy, picky, clean with their passes. So Ingersoll maintains possession of the ball. He gets in, he shoots, and it's a block. And now the Vikings will retain possession. Good job, good job by Lenape in their offensive end as they defend hard. The whistle blows and a timeout call by the Vikings as Korok was being pressured by the Lenape Indians. Hey, Lenape did a great job right there. Uh, he, he was losing ground and finally, you know, that's why the coach called timeout. Uh, it was a struggle for Eastern to get it out of their defensive end. And you can credit Lenape for that. So Rob Penzaby. Keeps the Lenape Indians with a one goal advantage. Well, the sophomore in goal was just outstanding right there. Uh, the one, I mean, the shot that went low and bounced up, that's really difficult because he had to go low for the low and then it takes the big bounce and he stayed right with it. And the other one, as you said, was just, just reflex. He was turned one way. There was a pass to Smith. And I don't even think Penns would be turned around. I think he just stuck the stick behind him and just made the save. He did a good job. Like Smith looked really disappointed that he didn't score. He had a great chance to tie the game up, but Penzaby coming in the clutch. It's 
And how about this battle over 14 years, 29 times these teams played. Eastern wins 13 and Lenape wins 16. So talk about a pretty good matchup between these two schools over 14 years. And this broadcast wouldn't be wouldn't be possible without the help of our awesome crew that we have here. They're not in front of the camera, but they do provide all the angles and great views. We'd like to thank Hannah O'Hare, Alexa Henry, Mia Borland, our Option 2 crew, Matt Mathis, Sean Herb, and Tyre Schloendorn. Announcers, Sam Myra and me, Sam Goldberg, and our sideline reporter, Alex Chokotowski. Thank you guys for making this broadcast an absolute exciting one. Wonderful job by all students and staff of the district. So now the Indians, we're going to steal. And Cole with the shot, but an absolutely ginormous save by Colin McCollum. Well, Lenape got that turnover. They want it, just missing on the attempt. So now here comes Eastern. And a flag is thrown. So the illegal wow. part comes with the head area and uh, Sam Ballard broke his stick on the check. Snapped in half. So now Lenape, this is where they have to stand their ground and make sure Eastern doesn't score. Well, they're going to be tested here. Again, it's uh, it's certainly athleticism, but it's it's a team moving as one as they just try to defend, defend, defend. They're going to need a lot of communication and a lot of patience on the defense. It's trouble. Oh, so Smith behind the net tried to get a and pass inside go. to Fleischer, and Fleischer took a shot, but Penzabe comes in clutch again with another save. Boy, and Eastern had a great opportunity, and uh, somebody caught hold of the stick as he was shooting. I... So here's LaJoy. He'll get it up to right. Right! That moves in! That is unbelievably great for the Lenape Indians. Right moves in and scores a huge goal. I don't, I don't think it counted. Oh no, the goal didn't count. Now here's the Vikings in and they score. I don't know what the call was. Something happened on the offensive end. I have no idea what happened. And now the Vikings will tie it up. I have no clue what happened. A call was made onto the field. Vikings got the ball off the turnover. And next thing you know, it's 7-7. Well, he was, he was deemed offside. I just got the official ruling from the officials. He was offside on the goal. And uh, you know what? Heads up by Eastern coming right back and striking. And let's, and let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab on the, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. So Brett Fleischer gets the tying goal with eight minutes, five seconds to go. Um, it was a bizarre play that just happened. So could he just not score or they would have lost possession? So here's the face off. And Cole will win another face off for the Indians. Here comes Cole. He's moving in. He'll pass it out to Montgomery. Montgomery behind the net. All right, Lenape still battling against the clock of the penalty. We're showing about 43 seconds remaining. Ball's behind the net now for Mercado. The job for Lenape is to hold possession for just about 30 seconds now, fight off this penalty. Mercado 
Still holding on to the ball. Being well defended by Tampolini. And we're down to 15 seconds. And again, Lenape needs that clock a rolling while they have the ball. And Reese doing a great job. Great individual effort. We're down to 5 4. Mercado. And that's a win for Lenape fighting off that penalty. To Fay. Fay. Behind the net now. It's inside for Lenape. There's a shot on goal, but a great save. Just missing, but Lenape is going to maintain possession. McCollum coming in clutch with a big save. And now it's behind the net for Montgomery. Montgomery will move in. He's looking. Still looking, looking to get a shot off. Can't find it, well defended. All goes behind the net to Ingersoll. Ingersoll behind the net. He's trying to, he's trying to get break free, but there's some great defense there by the Eastern Vikings. Ingersoll maintains. Yeah, he's strong on the ball. Again, good balance. He gets hit, but he still has possession. So Ingersoll maintains possession. He's running behind the net. Ingersoll inside, across. There's a shot, and it just goes over the net. Will Mercado nearly put the Indians up 8-7 to seven with 5 minutes, 59 seconds to go. And he let it fly for sure, but it goes high. So Montgomery with the ball. It's in the middle. There's a shot. And then they go low, but it's a good, good save by the Eastern goalie who's still fighting for it. McCollum makes a big save, and now the whistle will blow. That'll be Eastern ball. So here come the Vikings. And this time the Vikings get out of it nicely. And here they have numbers up. There's a shot. Oh, and another big Still save trouble. by Pensaby. Smith behind the net. Seven seven here with five minutes left to play. Ball is up top now for Barlardi. Barlardi moves in. Reese playing really good defense on Barlardi. Barlardi still in, trying to get a shot off and a great, great check. Great defense by Lenape. As we're under five minutes, seven seven Olympic Conference battle. So here comes Lenape now. It's a good outlet. That'll go to Faye, and a whistle blows. And Lenape will take a timeout with four minutes, 30 seconds to go. And let's take a look at the Ivy Rehab replay, Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. There was a big hit here. Oh, wow. Yeah, and that was the two minute penalty. So the Lenape Indians definitely have made their way back into this game. 7-7, seven, seven, four minutes and 30 seconds to go. And here we are. <coughs> As we're about four and a half minutes, both coaches, you know, they're offensive and defensive coaches as well, trying to get things settled down, work out their last four minute strategy. And goal scorers have, as of right now, Lenape Ingersoll has three, Mercado has two, and Reese has two. For Eastern, goal scorers right now, Brandon Hall, Hunter Barlardi, Ben Smith, and Stephen McLean. So here we go. So here we go at the end, at the end of the timeout.
So here we go now. 7-7, seven, seven, 4 minutes, 34 seconds to go. Lenape has fought their way back into it. And it'll be Lenape ball. Rob Penzabi has came in the clutch for Lenape, only allowing one goal in the second half. Yeah, he's done a nice job, and I'll tell you, the Eastern goalkeeper, uh, Colin McCollum, also come up with a big save, present, preventing the eighth goal. So here's Reese moving in. Reese across, and that passes way over the head. Okay. Way over the heads of all the players, and that'll be Eastern ball. So it'll be Eastern on the offensive attack. And they quickly get it out of their defensive end. So along the far sideline, it's Hunter Barlardi. Barlardi will get it behind the net to Smith. Smith will look. Get it out to Hall. Hall to Garber. Garber. Moves in, turns back, get it back to Hall. Hall to Barlardi. Hunter Barlardi looking for somebody to pass to. He runs with the ball. Lenape defense needs to be zoned in. No laps here. They're still holding on to it. It's Hall up top now. Oh, there There's was the a turnover. pass that was inside, and there now here come the, the Indians. Turnover. It's LaJoy with the ball. He'll get it to Marcado. Marcado. To right. Strategic game. Now we have Lenape back in the driver's seat as they have the ball. The ball's behind the net. So we're under three minutes. Swift Montgomery turned, tried to get a shot on net, on goal. The ball will go wide right. Uh, remains Lenape ball. <laughs> and Ray will pass. Oh, and that's a mishandled pass, and now it'll be Eastern ball. As Eastern moves into the driver's seat, as they control on the offensive end. Let's see if Lenape applies some early pressure. And they do. And now Lenape will have Lenape the ball. back in control. Here's Mercado, Mercado. Marcado to Montgomery. Montgomery with the shot and a nice save there by Colin McCollum. Both goalies for both teams are coming in the clutch for both. I'll tell you, they're uh, they're earning their stripes today, the two of them. The senior for the Vikings, McCollum. The sophomore for Lenape. So here's Wright moving in. Wright behind the net. To Ingersoll. That's where under two minutes. Ingersoll. Deeks. Moves in behind the back. Oh, and a great save. Oh, man. Colin McCollum. Another huge save. McCollum came up very big. Ingersoll deked out his defender, and now here come the Vikings. Sloppy pass, and Lenape controls as we're at one minute and 30 seconds. Here comes the long stick. Soren loses it, has to regain it. He'll get it back. And now here come the Lenape Indians. It's Ingersoll with the ball. And it'll get back out to the top to LaJoy. LaJoy to Mercado, Mercado to Ingersoll. Ingersoll looks to pass. We'll get it behind the net to, La to Montgomery. Montgomery tries a shot over his head, but it goes over the net. And it'll be Lenape Ball. We're under a minute. Lenape Ball. 7-7 seven, seven with a minute to go. All is at the top of the key to LaJoy. LaJoy to Reese. Reese back to LaJoy. LaJoy moves in. Good Ball's behind the Reese. net. Reese recognizing nothing was there. There's a shot and it's blocked. Ball's still out in front of the net. Still Lenape. So we're under 40. And it's Montgomery oh. and ho oh, oh. And now Eastern controls their own destiny. 
That was another big save by McCollum. Now here comes Eastern. It's Bellardi with the ball. Lenape needs to get back behind the ball. As we're Bar under 20 seconds. Fleischer will get it to Smith behind the net. As we're under 10. Ballardi with the ball. Ballardi moves in. They got to get a shot off. Oh, there was a shot, and another save by Penzaberry. Three, Three seconds. They need to get a shot off quickly. It's out in front. And a Penzaberry will come with the save. And at the end of regulation, 7-7, seven, seven, we'll go to a sudden death. We'll go to a sudden death here. All right, so we go four minutes, sudden victor. And it'll be four minutes over and over again until somebody can score. Oh, and let's take a look at Ivy Rehab replay. Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. As Ingersoll makes a beautiful move, McCollum realizing Ingersoll had so much to score, and McCollum makes a big save. Ingersoll probably could have taken one more step and put it right in. Well, you have the crease that you can't step in. So oh, he had that right. to deal. It was a very athletic move coming from behind, staying out of that crease. So you have to be careful there. But uh, hats off to McCollum, man. Great save. So a tale of two halves. And who will control this overtime period with the walk-off goal? Four minutes. First goal wins. And walk off, uh, term lose loose, used loosely as I got a feeling the bench will run onto the field. So Eastern trying to remain perfect. Lenape trying to get their season home, season opener with a win. And how big is this face off right now? <laughs> So it will be Cole for Lenape taking the face off. And I imagine he'll be facing Hall. They've been battling each other all day. So who's gonna slay the dragon here in OT? One goal wins. It's Hall and Cole taking the face off. Cole has been a stud at face offs today. So here we go. Both Referee players. places the ball in the middle. Referee blows and OT is started. And it is Lenape. And here comes Lenape. Cole Mr. moving Cole. in. And they're going for it. There's a shot on goal and it goes wide. <laughs> that was a great <laughs> attack by Lenape. Ingersoll had an amazing pass across the way to Mercado and Mercado just shot it a little high. Now the ball will go up top to LaJoy. LaJoy. To Montgomery. Montgomery moves in. Well done by the Eastern defense. There's a shot oh! in the middle, and it's Ingersoll. It is over. Ingersoll comes in with the clutch goal. Unbelievable finish. And the Lenape Indians will take the victory 8-7 to seven on Ingersoll's game-winning goal. Well, what a, what a, one game does not define a season, but certainly uh, a game to, to learn from and, and grow on. Here's the replay of the goal.
And boy, there Ingersoll saw the opening, drew the player, drew the goalkeeper, and buries it low. And that goal was brought to you by Ivy Rehab Physical Therapy on the web at ivyrehab.com. Well, certainly, uh, as we said, a tale of two halves, uh, both teams showing. Uh, we said prior to the game, uh, it's the big boys battling, and they certainly did. So that was an unbelievable game. Lenape Indians will take the dub, W, 8-7. to seven. And before we get our player of the game and play of the game, let's take a quick word from our sponsors. Today's game on LDTV Sports, sponsored by Deborah Heart and Lung Center, where experience matters. 800-555-1990, www.deborah.org. Philadelphia Wholesale Produce Market, all the best, all right here. 215-336-3003, or on the web at www.pwpm.net. Comegno Law Group, specializing in general and special education law, representing individuals, families, public boards of education, and independent schools. 888-313-IDEA or comegnolaw.com. Wilmore School of Gymnastics and Cheer, where every child is special. Located on Briggs Road in Mount Laurel, 856-234-5292. Medford Village Car Care, serving the area's car care needs for 30 years. Located at 11 North Main Street in Medford, 609-654-4023. And on the web at mvcc-nj.com. And by Heads Up, Eyes Forward. Please never drive distracted. www.lrhsd.org slash heads up. For information on how your business can become a sponsor of LDTV Sports, contact Joe Malagrana, LDTV Underwriting Manager, at 609-268-2000, extension 8680, or by email, jmalagrana at lrhsd.org. And thank you for our sponsors for sponsoring today's game. As the Indians take their season opener 8-7, it was in a dramatic finish, and it's time now to take a look at the All-State Good Hands play of the game. Sponsored by Michael McDyer, CLTC, 609-654-1426, or Michael McDyer at Allstate.com. Allstate, you're in good hands. Now I would imagine play of the game is the game winner by Ingersoll. Putting it right off the post. Yeah, he's finished it. Uh, he finished it like he's been there before, and he certainly has. And uh, a lot of poise shown there as the Lenape Indians pick up the win in their first one, game of the season. And it's all thanks to that third quarter where they scored five straight goals, and the Vikings didn't have an answer. Yeah, they Lenape. I mean, yeah, Lenape outscored them six to one in the second half. And it's now time for the reconstructive orthopedics player of the game. One eight hundred eight nine six Recon or on the web at www.reconstructiveortho.com. Let's send it out. Let's send it down to Alec Chikop. Chik Chilkotowski with the report. You're choking on the Towski there. Hey guys, I'm here with Lampy's Matt Ingersoll. He scored the winning goal for his team in overtime. So Matt, any plans after high school? Uh, I plan on playing college lacrosse. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm just still injured. I'm just still looking at schools, just trying to get the feel for things. All right. So the game. Lampy overcame a large deficit today. When did you feel that momentum shift? Uh, I would say about halfway through the third quarter when we pulled it within two goals. Say about then. And I have to know, what was that shot like? Uh, it's really nerve-wracking, but I mean, big players got to step up when their team needs them. So I just had to do what my team needs me to do. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. Congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Alec. There is Matt Ingersoll, player of the game, four goals today as he leads his Lenape Indians to a final score 
of 8-7. to seven. It took OT to win the game, but all in all, it was a great game. Final score, 8-7, to seven, Lenape Indians over the Eastern Vikings. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll be back with the next game next time. Do you have a plan to increase security in places like that? The district has up-to-date and well-tested emergency response plans. 